what we do in, in this process is gather up all of the information we have to date. We now put it into the construction documents phase. With us, we have all of our consultants. We have our mechanical engineer, civil engineer, electrical engineer, plumbing engineer. We may have an acoustical engineer. We may have a kitchen consultant. We bring in all of our consultants into the process. Now, we spoke earlier about the orchestral leader. In essence, if this were the architect, and these were his consultants, and this were the program, this generally holds true for what's happening at this stage because the next piece of this is we have the contractor and the trades carpenters, the roofers, the masons, and so forth. So now we're looking at this as the relationship between the owner or client. That's the relationship. So each one of these represents an orchestrated effort to keep the project moving with the consultants contractor here is working with his trades and primarily this is where we take all of this working and put it into contract documents at this stage we still don't have a contractor on board but the plans and specifications must take into account what the mechanical contractor will do how he's going to reference his work with the general contractor so that's what we do in in that sense of gathering up that information. At this stage, it's called project management because we are now working towards completing this project on the client's timeline and budget. We've gathered up enough information. We've gathered up all of the various relationships. And at this point, it's a project. We're managing that project for the client. What happens if the program was wrong? Let's say we didn't account for some things. Let's say there was a, an issue with um, somebody within the team said, hey, wait a minute, we forgot something on the owner's side. Or consultant says, wait a minute, I didn't take into account such and such. Well, if that uh, program or space plan was incomplete or inaccurate, the last phase of really Correcting that is through the design development phase. It can be done. Now we're into construction documents. It becomes a little bit harder at that point to make changes. It is still less expensive. It's almost no cost to make some of these minor changes at that stage. But once it's out to bid, and once it's out to the contractors, it becomes very difficult and very expensive. Because now a contractor is looking at the set of plans that you produced, and you're now telling him, hey, wait a minute, Mr. Contractor, we want to make a change. We want to expand the building out another couple of feet this way. We want to go this way with the whole building. These are, or can be, expensive changes. So if the pr uh, space plan or program was inaccurate or incomplete, it needs to be corrected at this last stage, construction documents. Now, how do you do that? Well, for uh, in an architectural office, if you have the project manual with all of the program information, all of the decisions that were made, all of the correspondence, you can review all of those documents to see if you have included everything. 